Hello, I'm Colin from Town Valley Motorhomes and today I'm going to be showing you the Chasson C656 which we currently use as our hire van. This is where you fill the vehicle up with water, fresh water, so if you take the, co the cover off, place the hose pipe provided into the funnel, fill the vehicle with water. You can see inside the level of water in your fresh water tank. Once you've filled it up with water, place the cap back on. Directly underneath the little toggle allows 20 litres of water to stay in the vehicle. Should you have a full tank it will drain it and just leave 20 litres in. So when you go off travelling and using the van you're not carrying a lot of weight around with you. Directly next to it these are your onboard electrical systems. So you've got your onboard charger, your 12 volt fuses and your 240 trips. Now what you want to do is hook the vehicle up. Use the 240 cable provided, always hook the van up first, then to the campsite post and do in reverse when dehooking the vehicle up. This is your gas bottle, so to turn your gas on, open the locker up and simply turn on at the top of the bottle, it takes a 6kg propane bottle. Please make sure this is shut when travelling. To open your rear garage area, put the key in, give it a half a turn, turn, swivel the locks and then pull open. This opens your garage area and rear bunk and then a shut, half a turn and a push in and it's a one key system. To operate the awning Use the own handle, place in the winder, wind it out until you can reach the legs. Once you can reach inside the own canopy, stop, pull the legs out by pulling it towards you, slide them down and then use the toggle on the side of the legs to stabilise the awning. Once you've got it out bearing the weight wind the awning out and walk the legs out. Once you've got it to where you want it, use the pegs provided and peg the awning legs down. Should it be windy or you go out for the day, and please ensure the awning is wound in. This is your onboard control panel, so once you're in the vehicle, if you press the on button, which illuminates green, um, you'll either get 12 volt if you're not hooked up or 240 if you are. And then next to it, this is your master switch for all your lights, which are all individually switched from the vehicle. Next to it is your pump, so you must use the pump to operate the toilets, the taps, the shower once on board. Please make sure you've got enough water in when using the pump. And then next to the pump is your awning light, so if you're sitting under the awning or you go out on an evening, you can put the light on to see where the van is. Below is the picture of the trailer, is the leisure battery reading. So this gives you the reading of the battery and next to that the one that looks like the truck is the van battery level and the one next to that is your fresh water level readings and underneath the fresh water level on the side of the control panel that will go red which is your waste water when full. Located behind the passenger seat are your hot water controls. At the bottom you have your electric side, so offs in the middle, 2 kilowatts at the bottom and 1 kilowatt at the top. And the switch above is your gas side, so if you're wild cabin you must use the gas. And you've got 2 kilowatts at the bottom, off in the middle and 1 kilowatt at the top. You can have them both on together, should it be cold. Next to the control panel is your Abasto diesel heating system, so simply turn the dial and on the heating comes. To operate your fridge, simply press and hold the button. This turns the fridge on. This fridge is automatic, so it knows which source to choose. So that if the hookup was taken out, it would switch over to gas, should the gas be open. If not, just press and hold the button and it'll override, like shown. Next to it is the temperature of the fridge. So it goes from cool to cooler and so on. And your TV aerial, when travelling always make sure the TV aerial is pulled down but to get a better signal push the aerial up, use a little toggle which directs the aerial for a better signal.
to operate the TV, push the silver catch, slide the TV out, turn the TV on. You must make sure that you retune your TV each time you move. So simply press menu, go down to channel and do an auto tune. And it'll find as many channels as it can in your area. To operate the toilet, make sure the pump's on. Press the blue button on the back of the toilet. This flushes the toilet and use the slide underneath the bowl to deposit your waste. The little diagram on the control panel at the back of the toilet will go red when the cassette is full. To make the double beds up in the lounge, simply lift the table up, pull half the leg off and place the table in between the two cushions. You may have to lift the cushions up and place the table onto the runners. Once the table's in place, use the infill cushions provided, which are normally in the Luton, to make the bed up. And there you have a double bed. To make the extra seating, place the board, which can be found in the over cab. Pull the two supports from behind the back of the rear travelling seats and place the two cushions into place which are kept in the over cab. And then you can slide the table out by pulling the lever underneath the big table. So this is the Chasson 656 that we currently use as our hire van. We hope you have a fantastic time hiring this vehicle.